another weekend, another fall. This time, <laughs> this time, coolant again. Left for work one morning, and um, I noticed it was really slow to get up to temperature. And it actually went back down to 50 when I was at motorway speeds, so I thought, oh no, here we go, thermostat. Then I remembered I changed the thermostat. Can't be that, surely. So I thought it was perhaps the coolant temperature sensor. So I plugged in that gimmick, which is really cool, and the previous owner actually left in this uh, this tray. Um, it connects by Bluetooth to your phone. I'm going up in the world. And um, sure enough, it says coolant temperature sensor, high circuit. So I got a very cheap one, £10 off the Rainforest website. Um, hopefully it fits. There's a two-pin and a four-pin version. I've gone for the two-pin. I think it's the right one. We'll soon find out. Also, whether it's related to this fault, I'm not sure, but the um, engine management light stayed on when I started the car. Um, but also, it revs really weird when I start up, so it's cold. Not done it this time. I think it was... Um, my theory is, it's been putting the glow plugs on. So is the car thinking... Because the coolant temperature sensor is open, it's reading as low as what the ECU will read. So it thinks that we're in like Arctic conditions. So it's putting the glow plugs on for ages. And then when I start the car, it's revving higher because of that. And then I get a huge plume of black smoke out the back. That's my theory anyway. I'm gonna go with that, why not? There's no one else talking to me. So I'll go ahead and change this temperature sensor, which I hope is easy to get to. We'll soon find out. Okay. This is going to be very difficult to film. It'd probably be easier if I took the airbox out, but that's not going to happen. So it's, this is the cable. And it comes in the back here. So the water coolant temperature sensor sits in here. And if you feel round, to the bottom where this wiggly finger is. Sorry, I just I can't film this really. There's a little sort of tab, which is that. So you can pull it out with your fingers or get a flat blade screwdriver or something to get underneath it. You pull it out, and then the whole sensor should pull out. <clears throat> should come out with an O-ring. So when you pull it out and there is no O-ring on this, you need to fish it out. Now, again, the right thing to do would be to drain the coolant because as soon as I'm going to put pull it out, coolant's going to go everywhere. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to use an old takeaway tub <laughs> to catch the coolant. Uh, I'm just being really lazy because as I say, the other tray off, it's rained, it's cold. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to be able to film this, so recap. Pull pin down, whoosh, pull this out, hiss. Make sure the O-ring's on it, and then plug it with the new one. Before it leaks everywhere. Okay. I'm going in. Alright, it's done. I'm trying to get a close look for it, so you can actually see. So it's there wired into the back of the new sensor I can't get my fingers in <laughs> so moving from the middle where the cable is to the left, the black bit that's your sensor then you've got the sort of grey bit that's the end of the plastic housing of the sensor and then to the left of that you can just see that U shaped clip that holds it in place so make sure you've pushed that new sensor all the way home to the, the, you know, the grey bit meets the black bit this is difficult to explain without poking um, I made sure that U-shaped clip holds everything in. I actually dropped the new one down there somewhere. So I had to use the old one. Oh, so there we go. Um, I don't know where all my coolant went. I think I took quite a while getting the new one in and maybe it went all over the drive, but you know. We've got those pipes to wash that way. That's the old one. I mean, that's these two big spare bits. So it's actually a... Um, Audi Volkswagen 
apart. So it's done well, 15 years. It was a two pin, I guessed right. So this is the 1.9 PD 100 from 2006. So let's say probably the two pin, not the four pin. Um, the part number is here. Let's test that it actually works, but you know. Not sure. I think the A is um I think that's the sensor and that's the O-ring, or the other way around, or the clip or whatever, but they come as this is Amazon. Maybe that number brings it up. I don't know. Um so I'll get my unused tape tray away. Oh, I did have to pry the clip, the U-shaped clip down with that. So maybe a small terminal or flat lace screwdriver will do the trick for you. I'm gonna put more coolant in this first, then we'll try and play the code. My free uh, OBD scanner crapped out on me. Damn! Got this one though. This one's actually way easier to use. The other one's great. Um, yeah, an app for it and stuff, you can see all sorts, but this has got two buttons, so this is more my sort of thing. Code's found. Uh oh. Read code. Yep, yep, yep. Ah. Ah. <laughs> um see if we can no, whatever. Yeah. I'm trying to see the live data, I'm sure you can on this somewhere. system after that's quite high up on the uh, block. I'll run the car for a bit, give it a res, and see what the temperature does. 